Hey everybody, I just wanted to pop on and make this video uh, quickly. Well, it may, it may be quickly, it may not. I have no idea what shape it's gonna take. Um, but speaking of shape, there's my segue. Uh, many of you might have seen in my last post, which was a reels I made uh, from this really, really fun moment in Anaheim on the tour last month. It's been a few weeks now since I made that video uh where this ice cream ice cream truck <laughs> came to the venue and i did photos in my little dress and whatever and i was at the tail end of my tour so you know i feel like everybody has like things about their bodies that they love that they want to improve upon maybe stuff that was drummed into us as a child that comes with judgment from the outside or self-judgment and all of that. And this woman, a woman to another woman made a, it was a simple comment, but it was flippant. It was uh, relating to me looking bony. Now, for those of you who follow me, you know I deal with health challenges that I have overcome in so many ways that I still manage in so many ways. They have to do also with food sensitivities, with my nervous system. Sometimes my uh, adrenaline is going so hard that I can't keep weight on. Is that a happy problem? Maybe to some people it is. When I get super bony, I kind of like go, I, what I look at is, how's my stamina? How's my sleep? Uh, what can I do to keep myself nourished? Am I doing those things? I always take the out picturing as something that could help my insides. I don't judge myself aesthetically. You know, we all have stuff and it's just, we're living in a world where there is so much input. There are so many unsolicited opinions. There's so much judgment from the outside. There's self judgment. Don't we have anything better to do? I feel like this, for me, I have a backbone, I am evolved, I am a bit older, I am comfortable in my skin. By the way, I'm 10 pounds up from the tour already because it, it ebbs, it flows. If I'm, if I'm <laughs> high output for two hours at night and then I'm not eating a lot at night because I don't want to do that because then it all clouds my voice, my weight's going to be to the lower side. And then, like three nights ago, I sat in bed with my dogs watching a movie eating raviolis. You think I didn't wake up two pounds heavier? Yes, like this is all normal stuff, but here's what gets me. If this woman's doing that to me flippantly, not me, maybe not being malicious, it's just, it just naturally pours out of her, I guess. Is she doing that to other people? It, do other people see that and go, oh, that's just kind of how people are and it's okay to be that way. What about somebody who's dealing with an eating disorder? What about somebody who's dealing with extreme depression? What about someone who might be having suicidal thoughts and that one flipping comment is going to push them over the edge? It's not okay. It's not okay to, to do anything but uplift people. If that woman was my best friend or a relative and was concerned about my actual health and well-being and came to me and said, hey, you know, you're looking a little on the thin side. Is anything going on? Can I be there for support? That is okay, in my opinion. And even that, you have to tread lightly. You know, again, I use the word <laughs> unsolicited, unsolicited opinions and feedback happening all the time, especially on social media. So, I love it that it opens up a dialogue. Uh, I don't want to dwell on it. Um, those comments are really not welcome on my pages because, you know, I never mind constructive critical comments or opinions, but when things are just uh, unkind or judgmental, that just doesn't serve any purpose to me. And I see my social media as my house, my home. So you can be however you wanna be out in the world or in your home, but you will get banned and blocked from my home. And again, it's really not about me. I didn't lose one wink of sleep last night. 
but it just bothered me because it's a reflection of how so many people are and what so many people do to one another. And again, for the people that are in that vulnerable place, because I have been there before, where I was so beaten down and so not feeling well and that if I did get an attack that was even, even minor, it took me down six more notches and prolonged my healing process. I'm not in that place, thank you, right now, but so many people are. So choose your words. Uh, look inward if you're gonna throw a judgment out there like that. Look at what you might not be happy with within yourself because usually that's where it's coming from. Thank you and good night. Be kind. Uplift.